Hello everyone, Humphrey here with Router Guides. We're looking at the new Intel Nook Skylake version. This is a Core i5 and it can go up to 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. I've already unboxed it, taken it out, because really you guys don't really need to see the unboxing video. You just want to see the ports. But in the box was obviously the Intel Nook and it comes with a Visa mounting plate. So what you can do with this wonderful guy is if you look at the back of your monitor, you probably have four holes in the back of your monitor. So obviously you would connect the Intel Nook to this plate. I'm not sure if it goes this way or this way. I'll have to read the instructions, but then essentially you're gonna connect the plate to the monitor and then you have a all-in-one PC, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the ports on the Intel Nook. Looking at the front here, actually let's start with the top. The top has the power button, nothing too exciting. In the front, we've got our two USB 3 ports. We've got an audio jack. Along the side here, we have a SD card reader, which is pretty cool. That's something the previous Intel Nook did not have. And then along the back, we have our vents for cooling. It's actually along the back and also along the sides. We've got a full-sized HDMI port along with a gig Ethernet port, two USB 3 ports, and a display port. And then, of course, our input for our AC adapter. Now, what's cool about this Intel Nook is if we compare it to the previous Intel Nook that I reviewed, now you'll see that it, it is a little bit taller, actually a decent size taller. But if you look at the ports along the back, you'll see that the previous Intel Nook had this funky kind of like a micro HDMI port. So it, it was very hard to find a video cable. You know, regular HDMI port you can find anywhere. So to put this together, this is shipped as a, as a bare bones system. Bare bones meaning that it comes with a motherboard pre-installed and also the CPU. Now you're going to have to add in your storage and in our case we're going to be using a Samsung 250 gig 850 Evo M2. This is the gumstick type of SSD drive. I could have gone with the 950 which is kind of like the current king of the hill but this is an Intel Nook. I mean this is um, how fast can we really go with the Intel Nook. So and then we've got some RAM here. Now I screwed up. Uh, this is the RAM I currently have. And these, this is, this is 32 gigs, but the problem is uh, the Amazon listing was a little misleading. It's two packages of 16. So it's 8888. Eight, eight, eight. Um, so not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna keep it and use it for a future laptop. I've got two 16 gig sticks of DDR4 RAM waiting at Newegg. I just need to pick it up. So after I pick it up, we'll do the next video, which is putting everything together and also installing ESXi. So this is the new Intel, look, Intel Nook Core i5 Skylake Edition. Humphrey Chung with Router Gods. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.